Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 26, beginning in verse 7. I encourage you to read chapter 26. That's your homework today. Read 1 Samuel chapter 26 today. But I'm going to focus our attention on verse 7. 1 Samuel 26, 7. It says, So David and Abishai came to the people by night, and there Saul lay sleeping within the camp with his spear stuck to the ground or in the ground by his head and Abner and the people lay all around him. Just imagine this situation. You have the king there, you have his armor bearer, or you have his commander of the army and the army encircled around him and everybody's asleep. And David is stepping over all of these men, this military, the commander and the king, and he stands over the king with his uh, his servant, his uh, man of valor himself, and he has the opportunity to change his situation, he thinks. And there are many that are listening to this video right now that you think that you have the opportunity to change your situation. You're focused, the Lord is saying, you're too focused on the Saul to realize what else is asleep around you. You're seeing the situation in your life as being an easy way to fix it or to get rid of it or to change direction in your life. You're taking it upon yourself, the Lord says. But he says that today for those listening to this and this applies to, he's warning you that if you awaken one, you're going to awaken all of them. You think there is, you're, you're so concentrated, so frustrated, so angry at uh, what has happened in your particular situation with this individual. God has said, there's more asleep than you know in that situation. Don't take it upon yourself. If you awaken the one, you will awaken the other. David in verse 12, uh, so David took the spear and the jug of water by Saul's head and they got away and no man saw or knew it or awoke for they were all asleep because a deep sleep from the Lord had fallen on them. So the Lord is looking, showing you and showing you this particular situation, not to do something about it. He's actually showing you this certain situation in your life to know that God is in control and God is going to um, avenge your situation and respond correctly. Don't be so focused again. Don't be so focused on the one that you awaken all the other things that you now will have to deal with because of your anger or your vengeance towards the one. God bless you guys. Have a great day.